Libra, welcome. It's Jeff here at Raise Your Vibration TV, and it's time for your weekly tarot reading. Hey, now, this one's going to be from May 6th all the way to May 13th. Yeah, Mother's Day this week. Happy Mother's Day to all you mothers. Um, but we have a new moon happening on the 7th, and it's happening in Taurus, the sign of beauty, money, security, insecurity, being stubborn, that kind of stuff. We got a new opportunity. And this new moon is happening in your collective sixth house of daily routine, habits, good or bad, diet, exercise, throwing things out at home, clearing the clutter. It's you managing your time very, very well or not managing your time very well. But what it's what it's saying is that for you Libras, you have an excellent new opportunity this month to get secure in a routine that works for you, that makes you feel secure, that knows that you are bettering yourself through your routine and you're not wasting your time because Libras can be so indecisive that it can seem like they're lazy or they're procrastinating and it's really not. You're just weighing out the options of you know, when it's the right time to do the things you need to do. Very fickle energy, but it's a it, you know it's Libra energy. But what it teaches us in Taurus is be secure in your finances, be secure in who you are. You know, like it's a big focus on self esteem and self worth, which is huge. You know, we can't we can't experience great things in our life if we have bad things to say about ourselves. All right. So let's see how the energy is going to work for us this week. All right. So thank you for being here. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Okay. Cards are out. Let's do this. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. Mm. Wow, lots of pentacles, guys. Lots of pentacles. This is good. This is really good. Hmm. 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 This card's got me stumped. Where do I put this, guys? Where do I put this? You know, I, come on. That's it. Okay. Oh my God. Woof. Jeez. I had to squeeze that out, man. I had to open that crown up and be like, you know, it's just, it didn't want to fit. It didn't want to fit, but it makes sense when I put it, when I separated these two cards and slid that in, it, it was kind of like, ah, there it is. All right. We've got a lot of pentacles here. A lot. One, two, three, four. That's money, security, okay? We have things broken up into three groups. What we need to work on, what we need to embrace, and the outcome. And this is going to be great. I, I, I always spoil it. I always read the, the, the last chapter of the book before I start. You know, I'm sorry, but I want to get you excited because there's some messages coming through for some different Libras, very specific ones. Number one. To embrace the idea that energy is a give and a take. And if you're giving and there's no reciprocated energy, you need to cut that out. Life is about balance with the Six of Pentacles. It also says, open your hand and we will fill it. You know, there's money coming your way. There's balance coming your way, Libra. For some of you, this could be Balance and reciprocating energy at work. Balance and reciprocating energy in the home. All right? But it's going to take you embracing your emotions, not letting your emotions get to you. This is when things start to go off balance. And only putting your energy with the Seven of Pentacles into things that are going to pay off later. And that's it. And it justifies the Six of Pentacles to the Seven of Pentacles. You've been given the seeds, 
Now nurture them. Okay? However, there's some work that has to be done. Five of Cups is discontent and boredom. You know, maybe because this isn't balanced out yet, this is where the emotions start to drop. That Five of Cups is just disappointment, you know, and, and, it's, and it's unwarranted for you right now. Okay? It's time to change that routine. You're also holding back with the Four of Pentacles. So don't hold back. You know, how do you expect things to be a give and take when you're holding back? Because you're afraid to be disappointed. That needs to go. All right. So let's clarify and see what they got to add. Definitely offers coming in and offers of all kinds. An apology. There's the things are things are working out for you, Libra. Don't sweat it yet. I, again, there's an adjustment. And because it's happening, this new moon is happening in your sixth house. It's a, it's a new adjustment for you. Look at all these pentacles. This is money, money, money. This is investment. This is feeling secure also. But what we need to do is let go of our stuck attitude. We need to end this. This. You need perspective. And Pluto's gone retrograde on the second. So, of course, we're back to the drawing board on getting some perspective. But you're not stuck. It's time to end that attitude because stuck attitude gives you stuck results. You know what I mean? The eight of pentacles. No, wait. The seven of pentacles is to show up again to say, only put your energy into things that are going to pay off. You're almost there, Libra. Things are about to balance out. And an offer is going to be made here, which is going to show victory and success. The three of pentacles and the Six of Wands shows working together, recognition, here's an offer, here's your reward, and it's successful. That's all you have to focus on is being successful, all right? Very cool. Very good reading. Now, let's get some oracles and see if they'll fill in the gaps. Wow, all the air signs have gotten crown chakra cards. That's something else. Yeah. Look at this. Disruption. Focusing on conflict and defeat is fo is having you focus on disruption. Again, we're at a five here where it's like, okay, we're at the halfway point where we're realizing we've got to let it go. You know, we're disrupting our flow. And you have to be truthful with yourself. You got to be truthful with yourself. Again, the scales are showing it's your reading, Libra. Pay attention. And then we have balance. I mean, you can't make this shit up. There it is right there. But I'm going to tell you, the offer comes in. Allow the universe to flow through you. Get outside and ground because there's definite positive movement forward. And that completes this. Boom. Pay attention to 777. Okay. Beautiful. And... We got six. Uh, uh, no, not quite. Okay. All right. Let's get some psychic tarot oracles or oracles. <laughs> oracles for the heart and see how it segues into our relationship portion of the reading, folks. Stay tuned. Ooh, what the hell happened here? All of a sudden, it went disco lights on me. What the fuck? Oh, no. Yeah, we're still recording. Yeah, I've had some I've had some botched I've had some weird shit go on with the recording and stuff. Oh my god, there's more cards here. Look at that. Find balance, guys. Find balance in your routine. Speak your truth if you have to because you're holding back. Seek the truth. Be truthful with yourself. Am I fucking this up? Another 7. Is, are my thoughts doing this? God damn it. You know, it's all right, though. It's all right. Manifest the life you want. This is a great time for you to manifest. And the new moon is saying, do it. Again, love abounds. A new beginning in love. An offer comes in. Look at that. Another six. All right, so pay attention to 666. Six, six. There's actually four sixes here. That's balance. So it's screaming for you to get balance in your daily life. Love is on the way. Libra, just believe and succeed. This is a great reading. 
This is great. Let's get love for you. How's relationships going or lack thereof? Let's see. Ugh. All right. Yeah. It's time to stop feeling like you've been robbed of time and and I mean you're you're just your your headspace needs balance, guys. So open up to it. Release those emotions. Go out and go out and ground. Get barefoot. Look at that because look at this is so close. Wish fulfillment. What you're asking for in a relationship is going to happen. It's just going to take some divine timing. But it's there. It's so there. You're required to get balance in your daily life before you have this relationship magnetized to you because it, you need balance. Every number here is screaming six, six, six. It's saying find balance, seek balance, seek the truth. You could be causing things off balance because of your fear of not getting what you want, you know. And the seven of wands, I mean, the seven of swords can almost like be a deceptive energy for us, you know. Look at that denial. Detach with love to clearly see the truth. Seek the truth. Some of you could be in denial. No, everything's good. No, I'm I'm balanced. I got no. Jeff always tells me to be balanced. I'm balanced. Listen. Listen, Linda. You're not balanced, especially when all these cards are coming out saying find balance, seek the truth. Balance, 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 balance. You know? I'm using four or five different fucking decks. <laughs> Pay attention. Acceptance. Everything happens for a reason. Passion. Try something you've never done before. Maybe you need to make the offer. Maybe you need to just take the action. Show the universe that you're ready to take the action to allow this beautiful relationship to come into your life. Because you deserve it. You know? All right. Let's get a closing message for you, Libra. They said, nope. Just that one. Why? I don't know. Receive. Libra, you're being asked to open receiving universal gifts. These could come in the form of love, money, compliments, healing energy, and universal wisdom. All of that is available to you this week, just so you know. Open up to it. Know that you're worthy of these gifts and open up to them. That sums up this whole reading right here. And be balanced. All right, Libra, that's a great reading. Embrace this energy, speak your truth, get outside, get barefoot, get grounded. Stay there for a while, baby. It's free and it will charge you up and it will inspire you to seek that truth, to find balance in your daily routine so you can open up to this beautiful relationship that will fit easily into your routine. See, that's the thing. The universe is like, pick things up. No one wants to date a fucking hoarder. You know what I mean? And especially mind, body, and, and material. You know what I mean? So work on that. Find the balance. All right, Libra, that's going to do it for this week. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Put I claim it in the reading to grab that love thing. And I will see you next week.